Hello, in today's video, I'm taking you to the Goodwill outlet bins to dig for treasure. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you what I brought home. Here we go. As soon as I walked into the bins on this day, at the first bin I went to, I started finding vintage clothing and vintage linens, which I thought was really fun to find. There were tons of sets of vintage towels that were in great condition. They all, most of them had little spots on them, like something had splattered them, but for the most part, they were in great condition. And I knew if I kept digging, I would find a vintage apron and sure enough I did. And you know, those are my jam. Okay, so is this a little thing that you strap to your belt to hold alcohol for yourself? I couldn't figure it out. I don't know. I thought this was really pretty. I actually have it in white metal with a blue glass candle holder. Hey, and look, another one of these.
It looked like someone had collected pine cones from their backyard and then never did the craft they meant to. I thought about taking some, but sometimes pine cones have bugs in them and that sort of freaks me out. I'd rather buy mine at the craft store, the ones that smell like cinnamon with no bugs. <laughs> And then my heart started to beat really quickly because look what I spotted. I had to go very carefully so that I wouldn't rip them, but oh my goodness, that's all I can say. I love, 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 love these things. And after I found those, I was like, what else is in here? But then you kind of feel like, wow, nothing else matters because I just found such an amazing thing. <laughs> I was looking at these, I was trying to figure out if it was napkins, but they were really large and like, but not large enough to cut each one into two to make napkins out of it. So I did wind up leaving them behind, but I thought that pattern was really pretty. And then I found more vintage linens. I just couldn't believe it. There was just so much to be found on this day.
all. All I can say is, wow, it was a fantastic trip to the bins this time. I got so much stuff. I definitely hit the vintage linens jackpot, seeing things that I have never seen before. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the things I know I'm going to keep. Then there's some things that are questionable. I don't know how much of it I want to keep. And then there's things I'm definitely selling. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I got three sets of like partial sets of things for my Department 56 Village. I have the Dickens Village, which I adore. And my husband and I like to find pieces. He loves it too. And we set it up together. It's a fun family tradition. This one is called An Elegant Ride Dickens Vi <coughs> Village. Originally $30, then someone paid $15, or it was priced $15. It says as is, but I don't... Is this one the one? Oh, it's broken. If this one's re-glued. That's what it was. This one is re-glued, but you know what? Most of the pieces in our village, a lot of them anyway, are re-glued just because we have children and they break things. So I thought this was just adorable. I love it. And I have like a fake um, horse and carriage in my village. You know, one I picked up at like, I don't know. The Dollar Tree or Joann's or something. And so I'm going to get rid of that and put this one in its stead. Then also partial pieces. Um, there's this one. It's called Follow the Leader. And I think it only has the man. Yeah. A man carrying books. But that's okay because I think we have... Um, oh, whose is it? I think we have Dickens House or something. So, you know, someone with books. That's kind of appropriate. I um, thought he was really cute. And then one other, this one, which I love, and I'm I'm sad about the piece that it's missing. Who knows? Maybe I'll find it someday. But it's called Master Gardeners, you know, because I love gardening. So that's what it's supposed to look like. I only have this piece. So it did not have the guy with the watering can. So I'll keep a lookout for that. And it doesn't have the trees either, but it does have that, which is still cute on its own, even without the guy with the watering can. And also for myself, <laughs> if you remember a few weeks ago, I was like, oh, should I get that? And then I didn't get it. And you all had great ideas on what I should do with it because I had asked that in my video. So I found another one, which now it's all tangled. But you get the gist. You get the gist of what this is. I'm probably going to hang it in my craft area and put craft things in it, although I haven't committed to that yet. Okay, so that's for me. I got this for myself, which I love. I am going to change the frame because I don't do navy blue. I think I'm going to change it to like a charcoal gray. A lot of gray in this picture. And I love birdhouses and I don't mind that it has some blue in it. I just don't want to have a blue frame. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. I'll take the glass out and the, the print, paint it up. And then I'll probably do it as part of a thrift flip would be my guess. And then I also got this, which I haven't opened yet. But... Um, they just raised the, raised the prices on our electronics, so that's I paid a dollar for, but it looks new. So, and I thought this would be really good for like a hot spinach dip or even like a, um, a hot cheese dip with chips, you know, for like um, Super Bowl Sunday or New Year's Eve or whatever. So it's just like a basically a mini um, dip warmer thing. It has its lid, which I'm having trouble getting out. Oh, there we go. There we go. So that's that. It feels like that. So for a dollar, you know, that's a really good price. And I don't think it was ever used unless the person was really meticulous about putting it away, which is possible, but probably not. I'm guessing it was most likely not ever used. Also for myself, oh my gosh, I love this book. So, you know, I've been on the hunt for the Better Homes and Garden one, which I don't have yet. Someone said they might send it to me, but um, I haven't been back to the post office yet this week, but I found this and I thought it was just beautiful and it kind of serves that same purpose. Not instead, I'll keep looking for the other one, but I thought this was just beautiful. I love the cover, like more than anything, I love this cover. That will be for my book collection. I'll probably put it on my coffee table until I want to display it for the cover. Okay. Then I picked up a few hardcover books because you know I have my um, casserole, my silver plated like casserole dish holder that I put books in. I just changed the books out for each season. So for my fall decor, if you haven't watched my other channels, uh, I did like an aqua and a muted orange and I just wanted some books that would look nice with all of my decor. So I got these. I don't really care what the books are. I was just looking really at the colors of the covers. 
Um, so I got these four. So these will be mixed into the casserole holder and I'll take some of the books that are in there out. And then I got this one for next year for the 4th of July and like patriotic holidays because I thought that was really pretty. They are charging more per inch now. I just found this out. 29 cents an inch it, um, for books. It used to be 15, but yeah, it's not a big deal. I guess it's not a big deal. I mean, I hate to be charged more, but whatever. It is what it is. Okay. And also for myself, I got these vinyl words Did someone really pay $17.99 I guess before crickets were a thing I don't know, like the cricket silhouette cutters anyway and then Goodwill tried to charge $3.99 but basically vinyl words can be applied to most smooth surfaces clean and dry measure mark burnishing then you rub it on with the stick so I don't know I thought that might be useful for one of my DIY projects since I don't have a cricket or a silhouette machine this vintage um I think it's a sheet or a bed cover. I'm not entirely sure. I got it because of the fabric. I'm not going to open the whole thing up. It's very clean and I love the vintage print on it. And I want to try to use this. I don't know if you remember, but I found an apron pattern and then someone sent me an apron pattern. So I'm going to try my hand at making myself a vintage looking apron now that I have found some vintage fabric. So I'm going to cut that up and use it for that. Then I also got a table square very vintage looking. I will probably put this under one of my other smaller table squares. I think it's really cute. Here's the pattern at Christmas time. I could also, it's not inherently Christmas. I could potentially use it for the patriotic holidays as well, but I'm going to put it under one of my like cutie little vintage looking Santa table squares that I have, and it'll make it bigger. And I just think the layered look will be nice. Also for myself, a few more things. I got this. I just thought it was cute. There's really nothing special about it. Um, I thought it'd be cute in, in a spring DIY craft. And then I got this basket just because it was different. I don't know, I like the handle, it's cool. And it's a different shape. See how it's like squished? It's not round. So never would have paid $3.99 for it, but happy to pay probably 39 cents. And one more thing for me, you saw this in the video. Guys, I love this so much. I, I just love vintage aprons so, so, so much. And um, this one is not super teeny, which I like because I am not a super teeny person. And this one has a good size waist on it. So I was pleased about that because I do actually use my, unless they're like really delicate and fragile feeling, like the, you know, fabric is not in great shape at all. I do actually use mine. Look at this with the rickrack sewn in. I think it's so cute. And it has pockets, I think. Yeah. There's a pocket. Does it have another pocket? No, just one pocket. But just adorable. I love when they have pockets. So I was super happy to find this. And you can tell it was handmade because you see the pinking shears there and hand sewn there on the edge. I mean, just adorable. Love this thing. Gonna wash it up and put it into my collection. Okay, so that's what I got for myself. The other things are kind of up in the air. I might keep some of them and probably sell some of them, for sure sell some of them. I just haven't decided yet. All right, let's start, because it's a lot. I picked up a bunch of doilies, and there are some that are stained. These I was thinking of keeping, and don't panic, but I'm thinking of turning them into um, pumpkins, because they are stained, and I know people don't like when you cut up vintage linens, but you know what? I found them at the bins. I can kind of do what I want with them. And so that's what I'm probably going to do with the ones that are stained, which is like, this one is also stained. And, um, I, yeah, I have so many doilies. I have so many in my, so I don't need them for doilies, but I thought they would make really cute pumpkins. So that's probably what I'm going to do with those. Then I thought this was really pretty. I don't know if I'll keep it for myself, but it's like a short runner. So it's probably like, I don't know, two or three feet, probably three feet. And it's kind of like the eyelet. I just thought it was really pretty. Um, so I got this one and I haven't really looked at these. Some of these I might sell in a live sale. This one is stained, so probably not this one. I don't like to sta sell stained things, you know? Probably just save that one for a craft. And then this was really pretty. This I might, uh, yeah, this is pretty stained too. I don't know what to do with it. 
maybe sell it as a clearance item or something. It's very pretty. Um, but it does have like a pink stain and a yellow stain right here. So I don't know. Haven't, haven't figured that one out. And this one kind of matches the other one that I showed you. So these I might wash up and um, sell as a set. They're kind of nice. And then I'm not sure what to do about the other ones. This is a square. Has a little staining, I think. I can't tell. Maybe very light in the center. I can't really. I think that's a stain right there. But I thought that was really pretty as well. You don't see a lot of square ones, so it was kind of different. It sort of reminds me of like a windmill pattern. So I thought that was really pretty. Okay, and then comes, holy cow, a huge, huge pile of vintage towels and other goodies. Look at this. Okay. So this I'm definitely going to sell. I'm going to wash it, but I'm going to take a uh, hint from Misty. She does not treat any of the pieces that she sells, she just washes them. And that's what I'm going to do. I think this would be gorgeous in someone's fall decor, but it does have a stain right here. So I might sell this for cheap at my live sale. And I just think it would be really lovely in someone's decor. You could always put something on top of that, you know? Um, is it a, I can't remember. Yeah, it's a, is it a square? I think it's a square. I'd ha I'll have to measure it. No, I definitely think it's a square. And um, so here's that. Here's the a stain as well. This looks like coffee stains or something, you know. Probably is coffee stains, but this is what the embroidery looks like. I think it's really pretty. The other thing is you can cut the embroidery up and use it for things. Like you can make stuff out of it. That's something I've seen too. I know that horrifies people. But it's something, you know, it's better than it all going to the landfill. All right. I got this i think i'm not sure are these like luncheon napkins i'm not entirely sure i have two of this pattern so there's two of those and i think four of these pink ones and i think i'm just gonna sell them all together i think they're meant to be luncheon napkins like applicated luncheon napkins although i'm not entirely certain you guys can tell me because they they do feel thin enough to be like a hanky but they're edged and I think I've thought things like this were hankies before and y'all were like no that's a lunch napkin so I don't really know um you can tell me what you think but I'm probably going to put them all together because they all have the blue edging I am sure there was two more of the blue and I just couldn't find them I did dig and dig and I just couldn't find them so I'm going to sell those all together and then I also found this set of one two three, four. And I mean, these feel pressed and like they were never used. I mean, I'm sure they were used, but they were probably used, washed, ironed, put in a closet and forgotten about is what my guess is. But they are another set of four. Here's the embroidery on that. So pretty. And it's nice to sell linens because they're so cheap to ship and they don't break. So I'm going to sell those. I love these but there's only four of them, which is not entirely practical for my life. I really need six of anything that I keep for table linens. These are in more napkins. I love that the edge is crocheted. I think that's really pretty. Sorry, I was eating blueberries earlier and now my fingers are stained. So, um, but I think that's really, really pretty and very well done. I think I've told you this before, but if you, if the pattern looks very similar on the back to how it looks on the front, you know that it was a good uh, person with good stitching skills. So there's one, two, three, four. This one does have a stain on it. Again, I will likely just wash them and not treat them and disclose, you know, that there are stains on them, but I'm probably just going to put it on, at a live sale. That, oh man, wait, where's another one? Okay, got this. thought this was really pretty. It's a pillowcase and it's um, in pretty good shape. And I thought that stitching was really nice. So I'm going to sell off that one. I'm going to keep this one though. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure my grandma made me something like this when I was little. So this one is going to stay and will eventually go on the bed in the craft room. If when I ever get my craft room back, I love this thing. Love it. Okay, so that one's a keep. Then I thought this was really cute. It's a, it's a baby quilt. You can tell it's well loved, been well used so that's the the quilted side of it now some of you might not like it because it has a clown but i think this is the most adorable fabric 
Oh my gosh. And it feels thin, like it was well loved. I thought that was really cute. Okay, now we're moving into the towels. Oh my gosh, it was the mother load of vintage towels. Some of them even still have tags on them. Like they were purchased at a store, this one. Okay, this one has its tag still, look at this. So the person went, they bought the towel for $1.39 and never used it. They bought it at Wolf and Habine Company in Waseca, Minnesota. So I thought that was really cool. Um, this one does, it, this will need treatment. Again, I won't be doing that, but um, it has like, I don't know. It's like it was never used, but something got on it at some point in its life. But I think the print on that is so pretty. It's like violets. That's so pretty. So there's that one. And then I thought these were gorgeous. Um, these, I do, they don't have tags on them, but they're in really good shape. Look at that. It's so pretty. Why don't they make towels like this anymore? I don't really know. And here's the matching hand towel on that one. And I don't think, oh, this has little marks on its edge. Same. It looks like the same kind of marks, like something splattered on them maybe or something. But for the most part, this one's in pretty good shape. So those will go as a set. Those I'm going to sell. And this one I'm going to sell because I don't really do yellow, but I think it's amazing. Look at this. This is phenomenal. Oh my gosh. I feel like this sums up my childhood in the 70s. <laughs> it's really pretty. And this one does not look to have those marks on it that I can see. But they just don't, either they are really good like towels and they didn't, they washed very well or they just weren't used very much because they're not like faded you know and then I got and then I got this set I am going to keep these because I'm pretty sure we had these when I was a kid and believe it or not we had wallpaper that was shiny metallic shiny in pink and silver that matched this I mean, oh my gosh the 70s were a wild time weren't they but I'm definitely keeping these because these remind me so much of my childhood bathroom uh, so those will stay with me. There's two washcloths, which we'll use, you know, we can use those. And um, like a bath towel. So I'll keep those. And then there's this set, which is really pretty. It's almost like all similar families of towels, just, you know, different colors. This one has little stains here on the edge. Nothing anywhere else. Dundee is the brand on this. And I don't know anything about like selling vintage towels. I have never researched it because I've never found any. I think Robin Johnson has found some, but I never have. And this one has marks on it as well. So I don't know if they can be sold like that, you know, or if it's like, I don't know. I wouldn't be sad to keep this set and I would use it. I would just wash it up and use it. And then there's a blue set, which is really pretty. And again, these have that dot, the dots on them. Right here on the, the edge. Oh, and there's there's more dots. On, so this one has more of that on it. Um, over here. But here's the towel. Dundee is the brand on this one as well. So pretty. And... There's a washcloth that goes with that one. And then this one is gorgeous. Does not go with my house at all, but it's so pretty. It has um, the stain, the marks, the little dots on it as well. Like see, see the little stains, like something splattered. Something must've gotten the whole linen closet. I don't know, but I think this is so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the colors in this one and the print. So there's that one and a washcloth. The washcloth has a lot of marks on it, but really pretty. Okay, so those are the vintage towels. And then also to sell, I, I have to go through my own collection to see which of these I need, if any. Uh, but with Christmas coming up, I'm just gonna start picking up 
vintage um, cookie cutters when I find them and sell them cheaply in sets, um, probably on my on my Etsy shop because they're good for crafting. They're I don't you can do like a cookie cutter tree. Um, this one's really cute. It's a police officer. But I don't know. I don't. I don't want to get rid of any that I don't have. So I need to go through my collection, find all the duplicates, and then sell off the duplicates. That is my plan. Um, I got this. I will probably sell this in my live sale. It's called the Stitch and By Me series, and the month is June. And it basically comes with. Um, it says Stitch and By Me includes a pattern and instructions, three clay buttons. Which yeah, so this has uh, two flowers and a ladybug um muslin which is the fabric and then the dmc floss and then you yourself need an embroidery needle and a hoop so i will probably sell this at my live sale not for very much but i know there's um several people who like stitching and i do not need another kit that is for sure so i am not a collector of vintage clothing but i could not leave this behind look at this dress it is so amazing it looks homemade and it's very well well done. I think it's phenomenal. It's very long. We did notice. I'm like, well, a lot of people around here are Swedish and they're they're the women here are tall. <laughs> so I was gonna have Maddie try it on. She's like, Mom, this is way too long for me. And it's actually a little bit. I'm guessing it's probably like a size 10, but I don't know for sure. Um, but I just thought this was so cool. And if there's a collector of vintage clothing, look at the bottom of it, it's phenomenal. It's so cool. It's just amazing. So may, I'll stand back here. You can kind of see what I mean by the length. So if I stand back here, move my chair. Look at this. Isn't it so cute? Would not fit me. I am not a size 10. But so, so cute. And I'm five, six and three quarters. And this would be very long on me. But you kind of see that. Anyway, I just thought it was super fun. Um, I don't know who will want it, if anyone will want it, but I just didn't want to leave it behind. Okay, also to sell, I got this because originally I was thinking of keeping it myself because I thought it might be the kind of cobalt blue that glows, which I'm on the hunt for. There is cobalt blue glass that has uranium salt in it that will glow under a black light. This does not. So I don't know anything about this. To me, it looks like a sugar bowl but I don't really know. I need to clean it up. And if I will probably put this in my live sale for cheap because I just don't want it because I don't know anything about it. It doesn't go with my collections. And then this, this I'm so tempted to keep, but it also does not go with my collections, but I think it's so gorgeous. Look at this. It's a green bowl. Looks like someone sold it at their or tried to sell it at their yard sale for a dollar and no one wanted it. I don't know why it's so pretty. I don't feel chips or cracks which is always amazing to me um yeah i don't feel anything i will examine it more closely but i think it's so beautiful you could totally use this in your fall decor you could use it in christmas time decor. you could fill it with pumpkins for fall you could put like poinsettias or white poinsettias in it for christmas time i think it's beautiful I just don't have room for everything that I think is beautiful, right? And then I got a ton of what I like to call bits and bobs. I did put them into these two containers. You might have seen these in the shop along. I'm going to take that off and use this in a craft. And I don't know, I just thought this canister was really cute. It comes with a wooden lid and it does seal. Not sure what I'll do with it yet, but I thought it was cute. And it was a good way to get these bits and bobs home. So my bits and bobs, um, some of them, well, let's see. These I actually am going to sell. I'm shocked that these survived the bins, but they're two um, candle huggers. So they're really cute. They look like little Cupid angel people. I don't know. I thought those were adorable. Can't believe they survived. I don't feel any um, flaws on them. They are not marked, but I thought those might fit into someone's collection. And then also to sell of the small things, I got this set of it says made in Hong Kong exclusively for department 56. They're metal. I thought they were really cool and like printed looking. I thought those were really cute. I'm not going to sell them for much and they're cheap to ship. So, but maybe someone will want those in their Christmas decor. And then also I was thinking of selling these, although I can't confirm what they are. They're kind of, 
you know, heavy. They remind me of this West Germany Candle Company, which the name is slipping my mind right now. But um, there's this company that makes these tiny little candle holders, and that's what these make me think of. I don't know if that's what these are, but it's just this little set of miniature um, candles. I think those would be really cute on a tiered tray or in a vignette for Christmas time with little red candles. So those I'm planning to sell and everything else will probably go into my crafting. I think I'm going to make some kind of um, nativity scene. I don't know, maybe like, looks like there was probably a roof on this, like a little manger, but um, so I'll try to rebuild something and make a scene out of this. I thought it was really sweet. And then I did find this and I thought I would kind of put them together. This says, this was part of a nine piece set. I did only found one piece of it, but it's a little cow. So I don't know. I thought I'd build, build out like a little nativity scene with like random things that I find. I thought that would be kind of cool. And I found this, which <sighs> I love this pillow. This is weird. I don't understand why, why that's even there. I'm going to take that off and just use the little Christmas pillow, which I think is very cute. It's a cross-stitched little pillow, and I'll use that somewhere in my Christmas crafting. And then I got the this little candle holder and this little candle holder. So it's just a dove and one little angel. Uh, I don't know what, again, these will just probably go into assemblage crafting. And I got this. It's a ball. I thought that was kind of cool. I don't really know what I'll do with it. It's kind of heavy. Oh, it opens. Oh, I wonder if it like held a gift, like a piece of jewelry or something. Hmm. I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool though. And oh, love this guy. You know, I love me some Santa. He's holding a bottle brush tree. He's adorable. So that'll go somewhere in my crafts. This was cute and older look older looking. That was cute. These all came from the same place and then some old greenery. So it looks like it was part of, like there was more on it, probably a little old candle ring or something, but I, I'll just use the greenery for a vintage craft. So those are my bits and bobs. I also have a few items um, that will I will show you in my Halloween, my Halloween haul, which I think I'm supposed to post on Tuesday. Don't quote me on that. And I think that's all that I have for you today. I hope it was enjoyable to see this haul. I know it was a big one. It kind of took a long time. My apologies. Ah, some days you find a ton at the bins and some days you don't. So until my next video, thanks so much for watching. If there's anything you're interested in that I said I'm selling or not sure about that I might want to sell, just go ahead and shoot me an email, northgardenmedia um, at gmail.com and we can work something out. And until my next video, thanks so much for watching and please take care of yourselves. Bye.